Welcome all. This is a special news bulletin. Today, we have a new VTuber. Her name is the Lavender Bunny. And today we are going to show you what she's all about. And here she is. Hello all. I am Lavender Bunny. I am your current VTuber, here to help you out. Today's tutorial is how I record my videos. I have two ways that I normally do it. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna go to steam.com, download Steam to your laptop if you haven't already. It makes it a lot easier with trying to set this thing up. So, after you go to Steam, you're gonna go to search, and you're gonna search for animes. It's like anime, but <laughs> without, you know, with an AZ in the middle. Anyway, you're gonna click on Animes by Face Rig, and basically you're going to uh, download it to your laptop. And it's really, really, really quick and easy to um, get uh, your things out there a lot more quickly. I use this method by myself just testing things out because I know normally a lot of people use uh, different methods, but I feel like this is the quickest way for you to get your avatar out there. And after you download it, um, I will show you what to do next. Alright. Hold on, let's take it back. Before we get into our animes, uh, tutorial, we're gonna go into how to make our lovely avatars. So, how I make my avatar is, you're gonna download Vroid Studio, um, from Google, and then you download it to your computer. Then, we're going to go to Vroid Studio on our desktop. So, next you're gonna open Vroid Studio. When everything is downloaded and all that, you're gonna see the sample models. I'm a little bit in the way, but you'll see the sample models like down here on the left. Um, that's how your screen's gonna look. I've had many, many, many different avatars made so far um, so you'll see them as you go along on the top so now we're gonna make a new one though for me the honest way to get through these outfits a lot faster is to start with your first one and just keep editing little and little and little from there so we'll just go to my, uh, we'll go to my braided one, which is the one you're currently looking at. <laughs> Wait for it to load. Do, 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 do. Come on me. There we are. So first things first, uh, have your camera kind of set. Just play around with the mouse. Um, there's plenty of mouse tutorials to show you how to work it, but either way. So, you know, start with what you like. I like to start with hair. <laughs> hair is my favorite part of anything in the world. Let's see. I already have a PJs. I guess we can make another pajama set one. So, you know, you can change the base here. So now I have shorter hair. My pigtails are gone. <laughs> But that's fine. And then you can change the back side. But I kind of like the little chopped cutiness, so we'll leave that at B. Um, for me, I have an a hoge, excuse me, heart shape a hoge. And you know, you do little bits and pieces there. Um, I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on Vroid Studio just because I feel like there's many 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 different people out there that know how to really really do this so I will put in my description below of 
other VTubers that I definitely recommend for that tutorial. But essentially, you know, you change your hair, you change your eyes, you change your body to however you want them to look. And so for now, we'll just do that. We'll give her a running suit. Yeah, tracksuit lavender. <laughs> Now, now that you have your avatar the way you want it, you're just gonna go to the little camera with all the settings. Okay, now that you have your avatar as close to how you want her, you're gonna go to the little camera up here and do a little bit of testing. So play around with how they walk, how they move, things like that. So you'll go to poses and animations and just see how they walk, how they look doing poses, things like that. Hello! <laughs> and see how your hairs look and you can always go back and change it. Once you feel you have your avatar the way you like it, the way you like the way it moves, you like the way it looks, close that off. And you're gonna go to this box with an arrow pointing up, like an upload button. You hit the upload export as VRM. So that's going to save it to your computer. Forgive my <laughs> laptop. It's very, very slow. So one moment. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So now we're going to export and name it whatever you want. I'm going to call this Gothy Lavar. Created by me, blah blah blah. You don't really need to fill out this information, but that's up to you. Um, you can upload it to Vroid. I forgot the, I think it's called Booth. You can upload it through there and you can upload your avatar to the Vroid web website if you like, but it's not necessary. So then you'll hit export, save it in your computer. I have seen my other avatars here. And save. And now we get back to the animes tutorial. Okay guys, now we have downloaded animes to our computer and now we're going to show you how to upload it. Upload your lovely avatar to animes. So I'm gonna cut myself off for a moment and boop so first thing we're gonna do you're gonna go to this little raccoon here on the uh, left and then you're gonna hit my avatars right here it's gonna pull up a window you pick an avatar I'm gonna put gothy though gothy is not my braided one oh my god it's okay though She's uploaded on here, so the good thing about animes is if you, like me, accidentally override an avatar you already made, you can upload it here and it'll have her saved forever. She will not change. So as you can see, you hit upload, it takes a second to upload, and yeah, your avatar is ready to go. So now, I'm gonna put myself back up. Boop! Yay! Um, now, the thing with moving my arms is a whole different tutorial, which I will put that recommended VTuber in the description as well. But this was my first method of recording, and now I will show you the second way that I record. Forgot to put in the tutorial. After you hit uh, 
upload your avatar. You're going to go to enable virtual camera and you'll see the avatar talking like I am right now. Um, <laughs> this is my actual face. So you won't see this part of me a lot because I get really camera shy, especially if I'm looking at myself. So you, this will be the, unless you follow my cosplays, this will be the only version of me that you'll pretty much see. But yeah, you have your avatars down below. Slightly, it's hard to move my head, but basically they're all right here under this lovely section. And yeah, you just upload and upload and upload and you'll have a full library of different avatars to play with. And like I said before, if you accidentally override your Vroid avatar like I did earlier, <laughs> So I lost my braided one. You can always put the avatar in to here and they will be saved forever unless something happens to your laptop. But either way, back up, back up, back up. That's very important. <laughs> All right, now officially on to the next recording tutorial. Okay guys, so next you're gonna download VC Face. That is the other capturing uh, app that I use. You download VC Face and pretty much the same way as uh, animes, you're gonna click the plus button. It's gonna pull up your list of avatars. You select one, it uploads, and then um, you just select the one here. So we're gonna use my lovely Brady Lady. Hit start. And this is what I'm going to look like in the app. <laughs> uh, the way I glow is how I have my settings. But it, again, this is all up to you. But essentially, you go to settings, at least if you wanna know how I did my glowy self. I did settings. Effect settings, bloom, and then you just basically, uh, what's the name? Ah, I can't talk today. <laughs> uh, basically you will put the circle at whatever color you want, but basically the brighter the color, the more that you'll see the, uh, color effect. Um, so now, now that I'm recording, the way to hide this menu is you're gonna hit this X here and then to hide the X you're gonna hit the space bar like that so now I'm nice and blank and I don't have to worry about being seen and that's basically how I record here on VC face in order to see how I do my settings on OBS let's go to OBS all right, y'all, here is my OBS tutorial. So first you're gonna start with downloading OBS. Go to obs.com, you select whatever method of computer that you have, download it, and then you're gonna basically start from scratch. Um, when you start from scratch, you're not gonna see any of this. Maybe this audio mixer here and these settings here, but other than that, you're not gonna see these sources anywhere but in order to get myself on the screen you're gonna start a new scene you'll hit this plus button it's gonna pull up a scene you'll type in a name to organize it for yourself and then um, you're gonna add sources now my VC face they originally say you're supposed to uh, put it as like a capture, a window capture uh, source, but for some reason on my computer it doesn't really like to work that way. So we're gonna do it as a game capture instead. So you're gonna write, well, <laughs> you'll hit source, it'll have this menu here under properties when you make the, <sighs> when you make the 
window it's gonna have this window pop up but basically you'll have capture specific window you hit the VC window the VC face window allow transparency and if you want the, them to see your cursor you can but most of the time people turn this off so you'll uncheck this button here then hit I haven't really messed with this so don't worry about it hit OK and you're gonna make sure that your self is always the topmost layer because um, you know the further back I go you can't see me now but if I'm forward forward <laughs> I can see myself now so yeah that's all there is to it in terms of this go thank you guys for joining me on my tutorial today I hope that I was helpful in any way possible if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer as soon as possible I don't really sleep so I usually get there pretty quickly either way feel free to give me a follow below by hitting subscribe hit the bell so that way you know all of my uploads I try to upload once a week so if I am not here one week I will definitely be here the next week but I try to do every week if I possibly can feel free to follow me on all of my socials you will see at the end card of all my social medias of where I post I do gaming streams once a week as well um, it's spur of the moment so mainly because of my schedule so whenever you see me pop up that's when I'm streaming either way again I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to be here more often as a VTuber. But until then, we shall go back into our little rabbit hole and take a nice little nap. Alrighty, I will see you guys around. See you later. Come on, you know you want to hit the button. This sweet button over here. Being nice and adorable. All at once is a nice hug from you. So pretty please. Ever so please. Hit the button.